were being excluded from the arts as well as higher education, the Three Arts Club of Chicago, founded in December of 1911 by a group of 32 influential women, was one of the first clubs to provide a residential community exclusively for women studying the arts. Women have always been involved in the arts, whether it be through being subjects, creators, or collectors. Despite this, up until only recently, they have been largely excluded from the male-dominated field. In the early 1900s, art clubs that were created, such as the Salma Gundy Club and the Century Association, were typically male-only, and at this time, higher education was only just becoming accessible to women. The Three Arts Club of Chicago's building pays homage to the arts and celebrates women's involvement in them through various aspects of its design. Located at 1300 North Dearborn Parkway in Chicago, Illinois, the architectural style of the Three Arts Club building, which was built in 1914, is very different from what the architects Hollabird and Roche were known for. The building is only four stories, and there are hints of Byzantine-inspired architecture on the building, such as marble inlays and mosaics. The Dearborn entrance of the building features a column on each side of the door and three semicircle mosaics above it. The columns have highly decorated capitals which show symbols such as masks, lyres, and pallets. Stylized columns are also along the outside of the fourth floor of the building. The mosaic on the left above the entrance depicts two doves and has the Latin word veritas inscribed onto it. The dove represents purity, love, and peace, but also truth and wisdom. The mosaic on the right is of two peacocks with the Latin word pulchritudo, or beauty, inscribed upon it. The peacocks are tied closely to the patron goddess of marriage and childbirth, Juno, and represent beauty. In the middle, there is a third mosaic of a lyre, a mask, and a palette, with the Latin inscription Musica Fabula Pictura, referring to the three arts which the club residents were studying, music, drama, and painting. Together, these features of the entrance and the symbolism associated with them evoke the prominence assigned to the arts in bringing truth and beauty into human life and the importance of women's involvement, which was also exactly the message that, through its creation, the club was hoping to convey to the world. The Dearborn facing side of the building is decorated with five castings from nymphs on Jean Goujon's reliefs on the fountain named the Fontaine des Innocents, located in Paris, France. The nymphs were used to emphasize the flow of water with their flowy garb and urns. In classical antiquity, nymphs were directly associated with water, which the Greeks and the Romans considered to be a divine dwelling place with healing and prophetic properties. Water nymphs were also connected with the Muses, the traditional patron goddesses of the arts, making the jug-bearing female figures on the building's facade a symbol of female artistry connecting to the intended purpose of the building as a residence for female artists. Inside the lobby of the building, there is a sculpture of Thetis, the mother of Achilles, who is often depicted as a nymph or goddess of the sea in Greek mythology. The statue is a cast of the sculpture La Source by Louis Sauvageau. The statue, which features similarly styled clothing in an urn, mostly functions as a continuation of the reliefs outside, which are often confused as being fetus. It also further develops the idea of the importance of female artistry throughout the building. After experiencing financial difficulty, the club ceased the residential program in 2003, and the building underwent extensive restoration before being sold to a developer in 2007. Today, the building houses the furniture gallery for restoration hardware, and a small cafe named the Three Arts Cafe. After visiting the building, Allison from Bitches Who Brunch, a popular webzine-styled blog, called it the perfect integration of interior design, culinary arts, and Chicago history. Although the building is no longer directly connected to the Three Arts Club, or exclusively women in the arts, through housing a company associated with interior design and the culinary arts in the cafe, it still pays homage to the original purpose of celebrating the importance of the arts in our daily lives.